Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about JSX in ReactJS. And today I will show you how we can add JSX to ReactJS projects. Before starting this, uh, I will just show you. Uh, this is my channel, Amr Parvez, and here I have added this playlist of the complete ReactJS developer course. So in this, uh, playlist we can see I have added uh, all the videos from the start that how what is react how we can set up the react how we can set up the folders and I explain about the folders in react when we create the project uh, it, the default folders I explain all the folders and uh, and the file and also I explain every topic of ES6 and uh, because uh, ES6 is going to be very beneficial in the future uh, if we are going to work on the react so now i'm going to start working on the pure react js course uh, i'm going to discuss the jsx components uh, states properties and how it's this all is behaving string literals and everything uh, uh, which react is uh, which react offers in their new features so let's get started jsx in react js what is JSX? JSX stands for JavaScript XML. JSX allows us to write HTML in React. Just think for a while, guys, that you are writing the JavaScript and HTML on the same pages. How interesting it would be because uh, if you see previously, most of the developer pre prefers to write the HTML on the separate file and JavaScript logics on the separate file. But now how interesting it is going to be when we are going to write the same uh, on the same file, we are going to write JSX and HTML. And how this all is working? Actually, on on the behind behind the scene, npm when we start the npm, it transforms the code, right? So uh, it transforms the code into uh, the language which uh, other browsers can understand easily. In this file, it contains all the React codes, not the course uh, code which we create on the project. Let's suppose if I'm working on any file like this, this is my app.js file. If I'm working on this file, if I write any code here, it doesn't mean that NPX is going to transform only this file code. It is going to transform the whole application code and a non modules code, right? Then JSX is much faster than the normal JavaScript. How it's possible? It is possible because uh, when we uh, execute the normal JavaScript, it execute every line of code. But when we run the JSX code, it actually optimize the optimize while translating to the regular JavaScript. Insist of separating the markup and logic in separate files, as I already discussed you, we write both things in the same file. You can see in the image, this is JavaScript and HTML. We combine them and it generates JavaScript XML. So moving forward, characteristics of JSX. JSX is not mandatory to use. There are other ways to achieve the same thing. Yes, that is true. When we are going to write, uh, I'm just showing you on project. This is the example of the JSX. It contains the HTML and all. Uh, uh, we can write the JavaScript as well as I will show you in the demo later on. So it's not mandatory. We need to write JSX. It's up to us, but if you use the JSX, it makes it easier to develop the React application, right? JSX allow writing expressions in curly braces. Like, like I will show you, let's suppose with my name, I need to add expression 20 plus 30. So if I go on the checkout screen, I can see here, it's showing 50, right? So we can add the expressions here. And to insert a large block of HTML, we must write it in the parenthesis. Yes, that is true. Uh, because if we have uh, more than one HTML tags, we are not going to return a single statement. Then we need to pass the uh, parenthesis tag. Right? With return, we need to pass this. Right? Uh, if I have single statement, then I do not. It, then it's not necessary to pass this. I can write this. Hello world. So now you can see on the output like this but if we have more than one text then we then we need to write in the parenthesis like i just show you and if you look jsx produce react elements yes that is also true because when we write the jsx html and the javascript on the back end 
it uses the react library third party library and it produces the react elements let me just show you how so you can you all you all know this app is uh, we call this exporting this app and importing in this index.js let's suppose if i commit this code so it says react is not defined because app is also uh, app folder is also using the jsx syntax and we required the react library third party library for this moving forward jsx follows the example rule yeah that is true because uh, uh, you, you all can see here it uh, uh, probably uh, all the uh, tags are written in the XML format. Advantages of using the JSX. Uh, before starting the advantages, I'm going to show you an example of how this all is working. Let me just comment all this, remove all this code. And I'm going to write in JSX. I, I just shared that we can write the JavaScript and as well as let a is equal to 20 plus 12 right and now I'm going to use the result so I'm going to say if a modulus 2 is equal to 0 then in result we are going to say strong even even number else uh, yeah, we can say I italic right and I will write order so this is a JavaScript code and if I write here return and if I say h1 result is I will say result is right so you can see here I write the JavaScript code I, I, I create a variable and then I, I get the results and here I'm going to pass the result and returning the single statement so that uh, I'm not using the parenthesis like so just go on the outside you can see a result is even number but if I change the value to 13 let's suppose so you all know that it's going to be odd number but it, it is also in the italic form so this is how uh, the JavaScript and the HTML is working on the same page we can add we can add more uh, HTML tags and add more functions and other uh, calculations and functionalities on the on the same page right so let's move to the advantages JSX make it easier to write or add HTML in react yes you just all see that how easy it is to write and add HTML in react GX can easily convert HTML tags to react elements yes on the back end we do not need to do anything on the back end when we are writing this code uh, NPX and uh, other react libraries helping this to transforming the code so that other browsers can easily understand it and it's not also uh, transforming but also uh, creating uh, uh, we can say HTML tags yes so I just go on the on this page and I click on the F12 and I just need to go in the source file and here in the source project here uh, when we run this project uh, we, we get some other files uh, also so actually these files are those files which are transforming all this code if I show you here this bundle file actually the all other file other than the project file are all are those files which are transforming the uh, normal uh, Java uh, uh, JSX code into the uh, normal JavaScript code so we do not need to do anything browser is by uh, themselves is reading all this form and on the back end is transforming uh, this code into the normal JavaScript right then we move to other it is faster than the regular JavaScript as we already discussed about it why it is faster because it optimized 
the code while we transforming to the normal JavaScript because it, it optimizes the what thing we need to show and what thing are in use and uh, how we need to present all this form and how we need to convert it by default uh, npx and other backend libraries are helping them to optimize doing the optimization so it runs faster and produce the result so quickly so uh, normal javascript is not as much faster as uh, jsx is faster also jsx prevents the xss cross site scripting attacks no, uh, this is popularly known as injection attacks. Uh, these are uh, these attacks are very old and very popular nowadays even also. So JSX are preventing these attacks by default. It is type safe and most of the errors can be found on the compilation time. Like, let me just show you how. Mm, suppose I'm going to write this and it is uh, show on the compile time. It's showing that closing tags are incorrect. So if I pass this again, so we are not going to see any errors. So these are the advantages of uh, using the JSX on over the other things uh, in React. This, everything have some pros and cons. So disadvantages of JSX are JSX throws an error if the HTML is not correct. I just show you uh, like this. If, if this HTML is not correct here, so it, sh it throws an error, which is okay, I think, because on compilation time, we need to see the errors that were whatever we are writing, either is it correct or not. In X jsx html code must be wrapped in one top level otherwise it will give an error yeah this is very important uh, in this case i'm just returning the single html tag let's suppose if i need to return two html tags here so it is it is throwing the error and it says that adjacent jsx elements must be wrapped in a and an enclosing tags so it means that we need to pass uh, this jsx in one single tags so i'm writing this uh, because I, I i prefer you to uh, take the div elements because they are easy to uh, handle and uh, normally we use this text and now i'm passing the tag because i already told you when we have more than one html tags uh, it is good if we pass a return the uh, if we return them in Yeah, so we need to just pass the parenthesis and closing text uh, and semicolon. So now you can see we are passing all the elements in this parenthesis because we have more than one element and it's not now it's not showing it. But if I remove this div text, it says still it says that we need to pass the parent. So basically uh, this line means in JSX code must be wrapped in one top level element. So this is the top level element. Div is a top level element. We can also pass this empty uh, wrap as well as like this. So this is now this is going to uh, uh, work fine because now we have more than one elements. So this is a disadvantage. You need to pass uh, always in the one top level element all the other HTML elements. If HTML elements are not properly, clo uh, properly closed, JSX will not give, a, will give an error. Yeah, that is true. We just checked it. And one most important thing. The mix of HTML and JavaScript in JSX makes React JS more complicated. Yeah, I just review all the online forums and a lot of the developers says that, like designers and developers both says that uh, at one place, JSX and HTML and JavaScript is, uh, we are working on the same file. Sometimes it's really difficult to understand because we have some, if you have the complicated logics and if you have the big files or uh, very on, on the very, big project is sometimes difficult to understand the same file with uh, both the logics so to learn and that may be unappealing to as aspiring developers yeah that is true and somehow but still i say uh, jsx is much easier for uh, understanding because it uh, uh, separate the code qu quite nicely when we are going to work on the big uh, examples and, and components in in future videos uh, you will see that you will understand it quite easily and it it would be fun for you to understand it so thank you very much guys this is all about the jsx if you have any question or any difficulty you can reach out to me and uh, just wait for the new videos i am coming with the new video uh, components and features of the react js thank you have a good day